one of the things we learned from uh, the class was that I wasn't to punish Alexis' kids and she wasn't to punish my kids. Uh, we learned to, to set up rules and uh, the rules we set down with the kids to help make up this list of rules and then to determine a punishment if each of the rules were broke. And we found that the kids were more severe with the punishment than we were. So we had to lessen those back because the crime, uh, or the punishment and the crime had to go together and they, they weren't with the way the kids established it, so we had to lessen the limit. But it was a very effective tool because now this list was on the refrigerator and if Zachary broke uh, a rule, all I had to do to punish him was point at the refrigerator. It wasn't like the punishment was coming from me since he wasn't my biological son. And Alexa the same, she could point to the refrigerator if one of my kids was to violate a rule. But to give more information to that, Sherman's girls were out of the house in college, living on their own, basically. We had my daughter who was finishing her last year of high school, and then my son close enough to college where he would come home for the weekends. So I didn't have much contact with his girls, but what the other thing that that, the door that that opened up for us is that my job then was just to love. If I didn't have to discipline or bring up conflict, I could, I, the door was wide open for me to just love his girls. And that, um, I really found that to be really helpful. It was helpful. Uh, my oldest daughter, when she came back from college, she was too old for rules. She didn't think the rules applied to her. And when the rules applied to everybody. And if she was going to live there, she had to go by the rules. So she, she chose to move out, which was very beneficial to her because she wasn't out too long when she called me and says, Dad, I now know why you used to get upset at me when I would leave the lights on. I got my first electric bill. <laughs> so it was a good learning lesson for her. Of course, being a blended family is a work in progress. And one of the things that we found out is that we had, I think, maybe, I don't know, 10 or 12 rules on the refrigerator. We wanted to make the rules attainable and not too stringent. And um, so some t sometimes something would come up that we hadn't thought about. So we both agreed that if the rule wasn't on the refrigerator with the consequence, then there was no punishment or discipline to be enforced, but then would go... We'd add the rule. We'd add, we'd add the rule. Um, and then we also found it important with the consequences to find out what our kids' currency was. So for my daughter being 17 and being in college, it was her cell phone. So, which was, she was very attached to. But when it came time and when the, we need to enforce things, she would reluctantly hand it over. But since it was already pre-discussed and on the refrigerator, I imagine that there was probably less drama than there could have been. Because you, you could see as the f cell phone was coming out to hand over, it wasn't coming very fast. It was a slow, oh, here it is. <laughs> but they followed the rules. And it wasn't because of their age. The, the rules didn't apply for a very long period of time, but for that first portion of our marriage, it, was, it helped make things easier. And then probably another thing that I want to say is that through all of this, I called my daughter, who's now 30, and I said, how was that for you? How was that back then in the day when you had those rules, when everything was transitioning? And she said that she really appreciated it because one of the things that she wanted to do was really please her stepfather. She and Sherman were close. He had come in as kind of a father figure for her and that made it so much easier for her just to be able to step in as a daughter to understand what he wanted and what was expected of her.